Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be installing some uh, Megan Racing uh, rear trailing arms. Um, let's just check out what's in the box first here. So we got one of these stickers. <clears throat> Don't mind the uh, dirty workbench here. Oh yeah, let's get some better light. Beautiful. So yeah, these are going to be going on my uh, beer Z, which is right here. As you can tell, it's wide body. If you guys want, I'll do a walkthrough video on that sometime. But uh, today we're just going to be focusing on the rear trailing arms just to help fix my caster issue. Which as you can see, the wheel's much closer to the rear of the car than it is the front. And it actually rubs in here quite badly over bumps and stuff. I think the other side is even worse. Uh, let's move some stuff here. What is happening? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of dark in here. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty pronounced. When you're driving, you can really hear it rubbing. Like, there's about a... Right here, there's about a... Barely a pinky's width of room. And over any bumps, it just rubs like crazy. So, yeah, today I'm going to be installing these guys to help try and fix that. And I'll take you guys along for the ride. First, I'm going to move my truck out of the way here just so I can have a little bit more room to maneuver. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull this car forward a bit because it is pretty close to the back here and we'd like to be able to get a jack and fly into there. So I'll do a little maneuvering here. I have to be careful when I'm doing this just because I'm so low at the front that uh, as you can see down there I'm getting close to the ground I'll just walk you out the front it's pretty close a bit more to go though She's in the air. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these wheels off and get a look at what we're dealing with here. Just a quick note. Look at this thing, this contraption I have to run. Got my breaker bar, half inch to three eighths adapter, and then the, I think the three inch extension, 13 16 socket, and then the uh, keyed uh, socket, I guess, for the wheels. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I'm using these. Uh, I forget what brand these are. 
these uh, two piece lugs. They're really nice for protecting your finish. Except for some reason, these ones don't do a great job. Um, and for some reason, the one that's actually keyed, it's not two piece. So, I'm not super stoked on these lugs, as they do mess up your finish. As you can see, lighting's pretty poor, but let's get this to focus. Jeez. Maybe not. Yeah, it's kind of chewed up the uh, surface there. You can see. On pretty much all of them, actually. So, that's a bit disappointing. But, otherwise, they look good. Yeah, these are the Cosmos Racing XT 206Rs in Hyper Bronze. Um, <clears throat> they look much more gold on video or in pictures, but they are the Hyper Bronze version. Anyways, let's get back to what we're doing here. So, what do we got? It's wheel spacers, because reasons. Um, See a little better in there. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So it looks like I'm going to be replacing this here. This will, because it's adjustable, the one I'm putting in, will allow me to pull the uh, allow me to pull the hood that way and uh, move the wheel away from my rear fender and help correct my caster. So, yeah. Alright, now that we got that off, um, I'm just going to transfer this brake line holder thing onto our new trailing arms, and well, I guess I need to figure out which one goes where, but that should be pretty simple. Alright, so here's our two uh, trailing arms. Again, Megan Racing. Yeah, and this is the trailing arm we just took off. And this was on the left-hand side, or the driver's side. So I'm just trying to figure out which one goes with this side. Because the only difference between these is these two brackets here. And if I line these up, the old one, don't really see how that's supposed to happen. I'm guessing maybe we just move this over to the here and suck this in a little bit. I guess it would hold my brake line a bit tighter, but I don't know what other option there is, because this one won't work. I mean, we could use it, but it would push it way out, and then I'd have to bend this a lot. So, I'm probably just going to put it on this one, and uh, yeah. Hope everything works all right. Let's go put this on the car.
it's in there. It's a little janky, but this thing is at least. Put the wheel back on. Oh, it's important to torque your wheels to the right torque here. Which for these guys is 89 foot pounds. I just want to get this one dialed in first, so before I move on. All right, I'm gonna do the other side first. All right, just gonna do the same deal on this side. Go transfer the uh, brake line thing. Okay, let's do the same thing we did before. Transfer this brake line holder bracket thing. Actually, wait, what am I doing? I don't need to do this. I'm gonna do this on the car like I did last time because it just got in the way. Never mind. All right, so we're all done with that. And let's put it back on the ground. All right, so it's down on the ground now. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, a little flashlight here. Might be a little bit better in there. Probably gonna have to do some fine tuning. Yeah, it's definitely a little out. It's definitely still a little out still, but uh, I think it's better than it was. Here, instead of just a pinky, I can get, well, <laughs> middle finger in there. Um, but I'll drive it around like this, I guess. I don't think I messed up my alignment really. It's such a small adjustment that I don't think it's going to change much. Just looking at it though, it looks pretty good. Anyways guys, that's it for me. Um, that's how you install rear lower trailing arms on a Subaru BRZ. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, leave them down below. But uh, overall, that's it. Bye.